besties welcome back to another episode of the girls that get it podcast with your hosts ken and han <laughs> obviously who else would it be <laughs> who else would it be that's a good question we're back today for <laughs> one of our fave and like we're gonna spice honestly it up og little. episodes true this is kind of what started it all am i wrong it you're not wrong i the f- <laughs> like vivid me- the most vivid memory i have of these episodes well okay what we're doing is we're doing a girl talk um <laughs> i think this was like one of like the first five videos that we ever posted gotta be and sitting for in one, my tv I, room yes yes on the green couch yes yeah not good lighting <laughs> it's okay it, it was, was a, a little gray dark couch with green walls oh yeah green um, walls Yep. But that's just proof content over quality. Like, obviously, we would love to improve the setup and the For whole sure. thing one day in the future. But, like, if it's good quality, they could well, get there. That video literally got, like, 10K plus views. And I specifically remember this one, like, middle-aged man, or maybe you're not middle-aged, but some man. I don't know how old yes. he was. He's definitely not 20 years old, though. And Do he remember. commented and he... He commented and he was like, girls, like, I just... Not girls. He was like, girls, I <laughs> just have to say... That like when I clicked on this, I thought it was gonna be like a trivial, like angry girl, like talking about like mm-hmm. fuck boys, this and that. But like you guys had you really good insight, wrong. actually. So like, thank you for that. First of all, I want to know why he clicked on our video. I'm curious. Maybe he was just doing it to like troll us and judge us, but then he realized we actually had some good things to cite. My algorithm has definitely been serving me more like c- people I don't follow, which I kind of love on YouTube recently. Oh. Um, and I've okay. watched a couple of randos vlogs and I'm like, okay, I'll keep an eye on you, yeah. um, which I love. And I would love to do an us reacting to the advice that we gave then. Cause part of me thinks, why would it be better than <sighs> no, <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of. That's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> that's no, why I, we should. I think it'd be fun. We should like maybe do that when I'm ho- when we're home. Okay. Like a video over like an actual YouTube video right. and just like Ooh. use that as an episode one week the comeback going back to the og just for just for one True. week and one week only <laughs> <laughs> one week i know we that'd be so fun to every time we were together react to a certain one it doesn't have to be it girl talk be. either it could just be like any of them anything because there's some <laughs> there's some interesting ones that we i just would have rather to address not react ones to too. that'd be fun we should definitely do that oh yeah We'll keep that she said, oh, we should yeah. start that running list up again of like all the ideas because that was also probably fire too you know what i'm talking about yeah i don't the even share wanna, i know i still have that like oh, somewhere yeah it's top i think i know exactly where it's at in the ken and hand folder yes we have a folder. yeah it's <laughs> not the things we never <laughs> want to do on youtube yeah <laughs> no or the um 73 questions <laughs> that we never oh, did don't you we we really tried to make that happen i feel like you more a little bit more so than me i was like no no i thought nah. it would be good i still think it'd be good but it's a lot of work i think it could be good too anyway Basically, there's a good um, way, good and a bad way to do it yes kind of like the billy interview <laughs> yeah which by the way where is yours but I'm i not told you we've that. gone over this it's not coming oh, until next year that's whack as shit but whatever i'll allow it mm-hmm. thanks um okay Let's dive right in to this girl talk episode. Um, I think we both know how this is going to start, but I'll just pretend that I am going to ask you anyway and act like I don't know what's coming. Well, I don't know what's coming, but I know the topic. So my first question for you. Oh, you're going to treat this as a question? That's a snake move. This is one of your four? Yeah. Hannah? Oh, my God. Okay. I thought we were just going to start. Okay, fine. My first question for you is... Do you have any like <laughs> fun first date experiences lately that you want to share with the class? Guys, <laughs> I have been holding this story out for Hannah because I have to get her reaction on the pod. Mm-hmm. You've told me like a barely any, but like enough for me to be like, what? I've told you the things I'm not going to share on the pod because I right. notoriously have been a not kiss and tell girl, but maybe I'm becoming one. Maybe I That's don't so care. Funny. Um. And it's just a little harmless fun. Like, no one's going to get hurt. And no, no, feelings, no, no. No feelings. Like, this is all fun and games. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I can't wait to hear uh, it. Let's hear it. So, last weekend, I went on a date with a guy, mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. one does. And I was looking forward to it. And most of the times, I don't look forward to going on dates. Um, 
and I was getting to know the guy we had texted a little bit before, thought it was safe enough, you know, decided to go. Mm -hmm. So, um, I want to preface this that when we kind of started texting, he told me he looked me up on LinkedIn. Ooh. And I was like, I get you want to like make sure I am who I am or like I look the way I look, but I, he kept telling me things about myself that I was like, I would love to tell you this about myself. So that was kind of red flag. Number one mm-hmm. of like, sure. Do your due diligence. I, I honestly don't look people up, but maybe that's a b- issue on my part. I don't care. Yeah. I know I look like something on Instagram mm-hmm. <laughs> and it may or may not be true. It really depends on the day. Um, yeah. Depends on the season of life. Depends on my mood. Like I'm just a person and I want you to get to know me for me. Right. Um, Because my least favorite compliment is when people are like, oh, you have such a great Instagram. And I'm like, you're literally comp- like complimenting <laughs> yeah, the version that's of not... myself that I put out on the... That's just so that's lame. Not the be- yeah. Like, do yeah. better. Come like, up with something better. Yeah. And it's like... Or when people are like, you have a great body. I'm like, how the fuck do you know? Ooh. That's true. Yeah. Right. So anyway. like, you ain't never seen it except online. <laughs> so fuck off. Like, don't yeah, be looking so at me, me like that right don't size me up like that (laughs) um so anyway that's setting the scene so we go and our date kind of consists of bar hopping to a couple different like holiday themed speak easy type bar so they were crowded but more so of groups of people like intentionally interacting it wasn't like a bunch of people mingling so we really just kind of talked to each other the majority of the night Mm -hmm. um and so we're at the first bar and we're talking about snowboarding and just Colorado things because I'm mm-hmm. a Colorado girly or whatever. These Obviously. Days. Um, and so I was telling him how I learned last year um, with Colton. And he finishes my sentence and says, oh, that's your twin brother. Hmm. I've never I told him he was this. Gonna, not me thinking he was about to say, yeah, you broke your wrist. <laughs> Well, and I told him I broke my wrist, and he's like, oh, my gosh, I didn't know that, like, whatever. Well, how would you do? This is the first time I met you. How how do you know you have a brother? Because Colton has no Instagram. Well, how did he know he was my – sure, you might know he's my brother, but how did you know he was my twin twin brother? Colton doesn't even have an Instagram. I know. I saved that for rainy days. I don't just be whipping out the twin card. Yeah, what the hell? That's weird. Okay. Were you like, uh, did you ask, or were you just like, okay? Yeah, I said, how did you know that I haven't told you that? And he goes, oh, like, I looked on your Instagram. And I was like, I don't have a picture with him. I have, do have says, one this snowboarding is my picture. Right. But he, again, he's not tagged. And then he was like, oh, like, if you go a long way down, like, you had a birthday post, like, talking about him. And the last time I posted for our birthday was, like, freshman year of college. That's so a lot he was of scrolling. Deep down there. And, like, lots I get it. You do your scroll. <laughs> kind of look past it. It's flag number two. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm going to tell you, there's two more flags. <laughs> I'm afraid. Does it get worse, like, progressively? Yeah. At the third bar, he uh-huh. brings up, like, my work. Obviously, he's talked to me at LinkedIn. He knows where I work. He knows what I does. Like, And I yeah. don't mind talking about work. I love what I do. Like, I'm very passionate about it. And right. he, like, joking was like, I'm going to apply and apply to be lead designer. And I'm like you're not gonna do that sir (laughs) and it's not even that it's more so my dream is to become lead designer and I've only told like inner circle people that and the fact you know what the and because he talked about being a gallery designer an associate designer which is what I am and I was like the fact is he even in that that field no so what's he talking about that's where I was like the fact you know one my dream role without me telling you Two, that's suspicious. the lateral steps I will take to get there is fucking creepy. Yeah, what the heck? Whoa. Okay. So that's flag number three. Okay. He's just like <laughs> opening a new red flag at every bar. Every bar is a new red flag. He's like, I can't give you all them at once. Gotta get it pro- progressive right. as the night goes. And so, and think about what I told you earlier, sprinkled in all this. Yeah, true. <laughs> Got it. Um, is that wait okay so there's continue like one and a half more so kind of in the same sentence now we're back at the first bar in the same kind of like 
timing of when he said, oh, that's your twin brother. Um, he, like, we were just talking and I don't know, I can't remember what I said, but he said, that would be a good podcast topic. <sighs> Gotta go. Got to go. <laughs> Got to go. And in my head, I'm like, oh, should I just be honest and say I have a podcast with my best friend? And so then it clicks in my head that he's seen it. He knows I have a podcast. Hi, and, uh, and sir. So <laughs> nice to talk to you. I hope you're doing well. Um, you will not be so, getting a second date. <laughs> so I was like, I just looked at him bluntly and I was like, you know, I have a podcast with my best friend. He goes, the brunette. And I said, mm-hmm. <laughs> I've got to go. And he what goes, the heck? and it, it gets better. He goes, do you prefer name brand or not name brand? And I was like, <gasps> <laughs> yeah, You're yeah, lying. him. You're I'm dead. Are I'm you dead. <laughs> I'm dead ass. No. He no, said he, he watched. He said he watched three episodes and then felt like he had to stop because he was invading my privacy. Three after three. What about after one? What about 30 seconds in? Oh my god, what episodes did you watch? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't ask, I didn't care. Oh my god, and like, wait. <laughs> Hold on. And then... Pause. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, pause. Because they're recent, in order they're to... clearly recent. Well, yes, but in order to even find... Oh, I guess you have... I guess if you click it's on the definitely... link in your bio. But it, it links has to mine. Them. And that means he went from mine to the podcast. No, it links to... The link to Kenahan? Oh, okay. So he would see it. So sure, but like then you have to click and watch and like three episodes later you just now feel like you're invading something? That's crazy. Well, it also means he watched instead of listened because he knew you were a brunette. Hi, sir, if you're watching. Oh my fucking God, that is crazy. Yeah. Also, and I okay. Just... <laughs> Let's just, let me just say this and you might have more to say. I don't know. But like... Okay. If and when I ever stalk somebody to that level, right? I, I won't admit it to their, their face. face. Yeah, Thank what the you. heck? Thank you. I will not just be casually out here chatting about it as if it's like a normal day. Right. I would keep that shit to myself. Right. Well, and it was weird to like beat me to the punchline about my own brother. Like I thought that threw yeah. me off more than the work one. The mm -hmm. work one is what sealed the deal because it came third. Um. But the podcast one, I, I'm just glad I clocked him on it. I'm glad I'm, I was like, you fucking know. You, you, also, I don't even like, have to be honest with you because you fucking know. Why is he talking about what we talked about? Like, okay, you can admit that you watched it, but don't bring up conversations that, do you prefer, n n d but that's not for you. That's not for you right. to say. <laughs> well, and I was like, you, and I don't think he was mocking it in any way, but it was just kind of like, you listened to three episodes. Yeah. Don't, don't. Don't come at me for my hobbies, my part time, whatever. And God. it's n like there's a lot of things I've been really lucky. And I think you'll get this situationally. I haven't had to address like, yeah, I haven't dated someone where I'm like, I have to be honest about this or I have to tell them about X, Y and Z or I have to be like, hey, I have a good like, yeah, anyone I've ever been with for like or more involved with knows like I'll either tell them or they have known me like. It's not new Long news. Enough. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to have that conversation of like, that's who so-and-so is. This is who so like, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I'm like, oh. And that like, sure, I've casually dated for the past, like, what, two years, a year? I don't know. Sure. What, but whatever the timeline is. And it's, mm -hmm. and it just hasn't, I was just like, whoa. That's really interesting. He did his research and he wanted you to know about it clearly. Yeah. And I made a point to say when rewind to when we were just texting i was like you're welcome to search me i don't have anything to hide i think i look pretty decent online but i i said i want you to get to know me for me i'm not gonna go stalk your shit like i'll look to see that you are who you say you are but i'm not gonna analyze who is this person that commented on a post from 2014 what is mm -hmm. this i don't mm -hmm. give a shit you had a previous life and that's okay with me wow um, that is so then that's crazy okay after the second there's place, another or no we go to the second place and he was like i'm nervous to be out with you and i was like why like what's the deal and he was like are you gonna put me on blast like they do on caller daddy and i was like yeah 
Stop. So that's why I'm telling this story. Oh my god. Wait, first of all, first of all, first of all. Yes, I am. Second of all, <sighs> what? We're not we don't have millions of subscribers like Alex Cooper. Who cares? What I just said? he gassed my ego up calling me her, so I was like, sure. He said, Are you gonna put me on black that is I hope he's listening. And if you are I hope, um oh. hi, welcome. You're not welcome here. This is for the girls, actually. But I have since a you're here anyway. Watch- the one previously and think yeah, it would probably. be in that one and then it's not and then it's not well then he probably hears girl talk and he's like "Ooh, let me go listen to that and see yeah i literally have not talked to him since don't you should to, tell the world i should just about... send him the link when i post it <laughs> oh my like, god we don't need stop. to speak again but, but i just wanted you to go. have this since you're gonna watch like, anyway well and first off this is gonna sound so bitchy but like no girl's gonna watch it go find him and be like i don't want to be with him like yeah i'm not harming him in any way i could but well you're not saying anything about who he is you're saying nothing no no, nothing about him to where anybody could figure out who this man is no he could be anybody no so that is honestly so funny but also really weird and also like how interesting did he think he was when he was like that would be a good podcast topic yeah because what did he want me to say oh i have a podcast with my best friend like we just do it for fun but it's nothing serious yeah that would be a topic let me use that like what no no sometimes though guys are like weird in the sense that like i could see a guy being like thinking that that would be a good conversation starter to be like bringing up something that they know you like even though you never told them because then it like makes them look like they care or interested in that kind of thing, and then you'd be like, "Oh, is he into that?" Because I am too. I, I could Didn't see work that, but I was very scenario. I'm at the point in life where I'm gonna be explicit about what I want from you, what I don't, what I what I'm oh. attracted to, what I'm not, and I told him, "Fucking stop." Oh, I know, like, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hide anything from you. Like whatever you want to know, you can know. But like, I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, no, I know. And I just I, think I like that's... told him he. He was like, is that weird? And I was like, it's 100% weird. Not because that you did it, but because you told me and you're using that as conversation starters. Right, right, right. Like, hell no, brother. No, like, I don't love I was that. Telling, I was telling him, and you know this, like anything I put out, like my mom listens to this. I got to be okay with people knowing. Right. Clearly, if it's out there, I'm okay. Exactly. Like, Mind your fucking just the way yeah that's just strange the way he went about like addressing all that i don't know like like, as soon as he said that would be a great podcast topic i was just like hannah i gotta i gotta you were like this is too much i can't can't." the audacity that's never happened to any of us and you would have thought by now i'm kind of surprised it hasn't happened i am too but also i follow co-workers and like i can have all this information i don't go stalk them i don't go look for their deep dark stuff like i know oh i know that's so i don't even go so look through your stuff like that you know who <laughs> you know who i don't what <laughs> i don't know why i just thought about <laughs> there's somebody who i really 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 honestly want to make a comeback on youtube who we know oh I know. I know. <laughs> Why did that just pop into my mind? Oh my Bring god. Her wait. Back. Is the channel gone? I just looked it up and I don't even see the channel. Stop. There's the no way. Run out. I guess so. 2014 <gasps> could only No. I literally don't even see the channel anywhere. Oh my gosh. That is Maybe blush too. <laughs> yeah. All right, P. Honestly, I should reach out and tell her to re- restart the YouTube channel. <laughs> I think about it all the time. She really had it. I don't know why she stopped. She would be. She would be Googles. the it girl. She would be it girl. Damn. She doesn't even have her. Vi- That's crazy. That's crazy. I thought she was going to come back too for a minute. Cause she changed her banner to like. Right. We something were more we, like aesthetic. I was waiting. You're watching, and I was just ready. know we're fans. We're fans. Yeah, we're, we are. we're not hating on you. I'm sorry. You got bullied in high school. You had oh, it. I and know. we like, I didn't even know that you had it at the time. You you knew what you were doing she really did she really game respects did. game she had it she had it so true so true oh my gosh wow yeah, didn't even but anyway i don't know so why that I... just crossed my mind but anyway that's a crazy story that has he tried to like be like oh like let's go out again or has he just not said anything 
no i feel like i was a little too blunt about um i i told him one i'm notorious for going on first dates and not going on second yeah um i said also i verbatim was like i love my life i'm completely happy alone i'm not someone that needs a lot of attention or wants a lot of attention i need you to have enough going for yourself and it wasn't like those words but i was just like i like if you're not i literally said if you're not amazing i don't want (laughs) he probably said okay i'm out then shoddy because i ain't that yeah and i was like if you're not he's probably scared i'm sure and but I kind of want. Honestly, you should if be. you're not, if you're scared by that, I don't really want it truthfully. That's true. That's true. And I was telling my girlfriends here, I was like, he wasn't a bad guy. He's just not my guy. And there's nothing wrong with that. For sure. Wish you For well. sure. Yeah. Um, don't stalk people. I Correct. could you do... Or if you do, keep it to yourself. Yeah. Okay. I like. Thank you for the compliment of comp- thinking me of Alex uh, Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Love that. Because that just inspired me to keep it going. You know, mm-hmm, share more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, great story to start the pod. I know. Because to think even too, I don't feel like in the past year to two years, I've shared nearly as much as what I did in college and then that year post-grad. Yeah. So the fact you dug up that much, you was really digging. He was knowing. He wanted to know. He was on a mission and he accomplished it. So comment below if Crazy. I should share more funny dating stories you should um but it also just like nothing against him again i don't really care to go on a date right now mm, you heard it here first <laughs> like sir i would have had time to exit the chat it was a it was i will say this it was a fun night but i would have had just as much fun at home doing whatever i do or going out with my girlfriends that's low-key a burn <laughs> i don't that's not a. I literally said fine whatever. i know a little i mean you just said like it, yeah it was it, fun. that's more of a representation of where i'm at with my life not i guess about so him. yeah 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 yeah. that's true if you want to take it personally jokes on sorry you. yeah yeah i can't boost your ego up should i just lay into him anymore or just let it go you should let it go i'm i'm just kidding it was a joke i know i know i know okay break him over the coals why don't you okay you ready yeah what is your definition of being a girl's girl? And do you consider yourself a girl's girl? That's a good this, question. It was original. Thank you so much. That's a great one. Um, I thought you were about to, for some reason I was expect. I thought you were about to go deep and I was about to be like, kind of honestly, I have to pass because I ain't ready for that right now. Um, she said girl talk, but make it not serious. Literally, literally. Um, Let's see. I think a girl's girl. I think there's like ver. I think there's different levels and like aspects oh, that you can like level. be. But I okay. think overall, it's just Terrible well because course. okay. I think there are some people who do it do it over the top. You know what I mean? Like that. In what way? Try to prove too hard that they're a girl's girl. That it just is like a lot. Like keep like, your friends close, but your enemies closer is kind of girl. Yeah. Okay. Like I can I can see what you're putting down there. I think just in general a girl's girl is somebody who is like I this isn't a good definition. I was going to say about the girls, but that's literally not even a clear definition. Just somebody who's like Thank you. for the group, for other girls, like is kind to other girls, is not like Yeah trying to make other girls jealous by doing xyz or by having this many guy friends and i'm cooler and i'm better because of that like that's not the Mm -hmm. vibes i think it's just somebody who's genuinely just kind and like is respectful to to other women and like Mm -hmm. acknowledges that like we're in this together so let's not make enemies out of each other yeah totally if that makes sense um i think that's good let's see would i consider myself one See, sometimes I think when I think of girl's girl, I think of girly. And sometimes I think I'm not girly enough to be a girl's girl. But lately I was talking the metaphorical like. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. know. But I would say yes, overall, especially in my single era, which has been like the last year and a half, almost two years. Have we been? Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I'm talking about? Have we been? I was gonna say, have we been single for the same amount of time? I forgot. Like, I don't know this. Um, pretty much. Approximately, like a rough, roughly, rough. We're gonna round. Yeah, 
sure. I think your it was like two months Mine apart. Was first. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And mom was like two cool. months later. So like roughly. Um year and a half to almost two years ish. Um, so yeah, I would say definitely being single for an extended period of time has helped me become more of a girl's girl because in the past, yeah. not that I wasn't, but it's just I was always not always, but like I was in more long term relationships than not. And you're just a d- you're just different and like the things you yeah. do on a daily basis are different the way you spend your time is different and so i think that you prior- is a, yeah. that's a factor in it as well so now that i've been single for a good bit i feel like i have tapped into my girl's girl side you can see and the girl's girl's perspective like when you're not in a relationship for sure for sure you lose sight um, cuz you get the love eyes and you you know exactly exactly so yeah i would say i am i would hope that i am but i think so okay word um yeah that was a good one let's see where do i want to go with this okay here's a good one what are some like immediate green flags in a guy that you want to see in like the early stages oh wow Good question. Why you're getting deep on me over here? Oh, is that deep? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it ain't shallow. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I mean, I think communication. It could be small or big. Okay, go ahead. (laughs) Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I thought you were pausing longer, so I was trying to fill the air. No, that's okay. Um, I think communication is pretty important. As well as um, with communication, expressing where your priorities are at. Mm -hmm. It's easy, I think, to come off as like something that you're not. Um, Mm -hmm. Obviously, honesty. If you're going to, that goes with communication. Like if you're going to leave things out or if I hear things Mm -hmm. from other people before I hear Mm -hmm. them from you. Mm. not a fan Mm. (laughs) that is different it's true sorry go ahead oh (laughs) yeah (laughs) oh yeah okay Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. carry on and then recently i just feel like and i get it because i think i'm kind of in this place i view dating as just kind of like eh Mm -hmm. it's not a priority like i don't really care right when the time comes to date I want to know it's a priority for you. I'm not going to feel that way if you're just like, and if it happens, it happens or like, so true, whatever. And there's nothing wrong. Like if you go in saying like, Hey, I'm just here to have fun. Like I really enjoy seeing you, but like, let's just keep this easy breezy cover girl. Cool. Mm -hmm. But like, it's kind of shitty when I think it's ironic because dating apps Like, it's called a dating app, and so many people aren't on there to, one, go on dates, or build a relationship long-term. And I in no way think I'm going to find my husband on that. They should have two apps, one for people who actually want to date, and one for people who just want to fuck. Simple as that. that's what the whole point of what Tinder was, but then guys realized they couldn't get girls of the quality they wanted to do that on Tinder. Yeah, true. It was like, Sure, I think it's more common now for girls just to want to hook up and want to have like a casual relationship. But I don't know if society makes it acceptable for us to be like, "Yeah, I just want to fuck." Like, yeah, that's what's good about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys you're right. can come out and say that, but if girls were like, "It's like, oh, she's dirty." She values like- your value as a woman in men's eyes, at least a lot of times, not all the time. So you're right. You're right. You know, and I'm can only speak from my perspective to guys because I don't know what it's you know um, yeah, 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 yeah yeah that's what i would say is just like honest communication and then like i want to be pursued i don't want to sure. play games i don't want to like she left no, me no. on red he didn't no, yeah no Mm-mm. yeah in and out and just say hey i'm not feeling it whatever nice talking to you move on or yeah like so true. i really am interested and then mean it <laughs> And then let's do this. Let's be here at seven. Do you want me to pick you up or send you oh an my Uber? God. Which one? Right. Be. Or like, just tell, just say you how it is. You know what I'm looking and... for? Hmm. An alpha. Yeah. 
I just yeah. know when the day comes, whenever I meet my husband, and I feel like that'll be in a couple years, whenever, I will right. just stop dead in my tracks and he'll just be like, You're going to do this here, this now, this is how it's going to be. And you're going to be like, <gasps> Yeah. Take me away. Carry, carry me off into the sunset. Sure. Whatever you want. <laughs> I want the energy. And I sent you this clip. If y'all haven't seen it, there's a clip of Kelsey Ballerini on Alex Cooper's podcast. Oh, and she's that talking was about good. Like, her and Chase and how they like got started or whatever. And like their first day or how she, I guess she slid into his DMs. They started chatting um, right. and like getting to know each other before they met in person. And then when they finally met in person, he like, got out of his car like walk up walked up to her and just like grabbed her face and kissed her and he was like i'm so glad you're real and i was just like that is a man i was gonna say and man you gotta energy. have like i that's confidence look- that's we yes. want that ladies and gentlemen for early signs of spice i need to know you got it you mm-hmm. don't have to do the whole thing but you know i need to know like you you know yeah yeah i hear you, you yeah. i need to know <laughs> Mm-hmm. You you pick it down. I think everyone's right. picking down what I'm putting picking up. up what you're putting down. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. So that's no. I agree with all those. I think that's all good stuff. Okay. On to the next question. Um, this is like a two parter. We're gonna start with one. Okay. Next round will be two, and then you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. call it a day. Um, what are your thoughts on bachelorette parties? And do you mm-hmm. have like a dream or like an idea for what you'd ever want to do for yours? Let's see. I think that's well. Okay, we've never what talked about this. I'm kind no, of we... good headers today, guys. We haven't, and I'm like, you're, qu- yeah, okay. I'm jealous. Your questions are better than mine, I think. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I think bachelorette parties are super fun because I think it's just a way for like you to spend good quality time with your girls before your big day all the things however number one that was a butt never number one am i that excited for mine like yes but at the same time it's literally gonna be you me myself and i so like who else (laughs) it's literally gonna be you and me like and and you're not fucking thrilled about that shit no i am i am but it's like that's just uh like that's just we're gonna go buck wild and I feel like if it really ever was just me and you, just and I don't us. think it will just be us, no, we could do something not. epic. Like, we could do a lot bigger of a trip because we're not That's doing... That's true. It's only two people. Right. Coordinate just no, do what we want. I am excited for mine, but I can't picture... I can't picture that happening for me for multiple reasons. One, because I don't even have a man's to even think about marrying. So, obviously, well, yeah. it's getting married to have a bachelorette. But for two, the people who I would have thought would have been in my wedding three years ago... <sighs> The only Source one subject. who's still there is you. So like, <laughs> watch me not make it. You roll this clip back on. And, and it, oh my god, that would be the biggest uh, shock of my life. Um, stop it. But like, if I if I were to get married tomorrow, it'd be probably you and then my two like close girlfriends from here, Caroline and Lakota. But besides them, yeah, it's so funny. And I'm not saying this about you or those girls, but it's funny how like you go through your phases of life and you're like, oh yeah, these are my other girls, and there's like the one or two that stay the same. But, yeah. Like, I remember in college, I was like, okay, maybe those two. And then now I'm like, okay, maybe these couple. You, like, Exactly, exactly. And I exactly. know depending on when it happens, it'll just be whoever's there. I think that's what the main thing is. Um, but I guess as far as like the actual idea like specifics, of bachelorette yeah. parties itself, I think, well, one, like do people still go to like strip clubs and like get crazy and wild before? Is that like a man thing or is that a bachelorette thing too? I think it's both. I think it's stereotyped as a man thing, but I think girls have recently been like, fuck it, we're going to do it too. I don't know girls if I would want to do that. I feel like it's a little bit more acceptable nowadays for girls because like guys would be like, that's hot. Or like if you sent your man to a strip club, be like, that's yeah. dirty. <laughs> Part of me, I did the, the thing about bachelorette parties, and I guess this goes for bachelorette and also bachelor parties is that I don't like the idea of, like, this is my last night single, so let me do some, like, wild shit. Now, wild in the sense of, like, go crazy with your friends and, like, just keep it, you know, like, just a girl's night? Sure. But wild in the sense of, like... No. I have always associated a bachelor party with me getting cheated on. Mm -hmm. I just think that's how it's going to happen. 
you know, I don't my need other women. About, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't need other women at your bachelor party or other women's titties in your face at your bachelor party. Like, I'm not saying you can't have fun and have a crazy night, <laughs> whatever said, that means no for you and your you. friends. But I'm just saying, like, come on, you ain't been single for the last three years. So why are you acting like it the night before your wedding right. or like the week before you or whenever people do it? Well, and it's tough too because I think it also depends on like where your group of friends and your husband's group of friends are at in life. Like if you mm-hmm. have a bunch of guys that are married, that's gonna look different than a bunch like you're the first guy of your friend group guys. to get married and they're all yeah. single. Um yeah. cause it's not necessarily like the idea of my husband going to a strip club doesn't bother me. It's more so Correct. it leads to certain activities. Exactly. And other parties would get involved and drag you and like exactly and a bunch of single guys who are drunk at a strip club it's just like that's kind of a recipe for disaster and it's not that you don't trust your mans but at the same time it's like is that really how you want to be spending your time like right before you're about to get married i don't know i just think there's like more ways yeah there was more ways that you can have fun and still be crazy without all that i do think it's from what i've seen at least a little bit better but again i think it comes to like economic circumstance i think some people have been really blowing out these bachelor bachelorette trips and i'm like this is as much as a wedding for some people like yeah and that's just. another thing i don't expect anything crazy like i do not need the whole like of course i want it to be fun and i would like to yeah. like do something a little bit more pizzazzy than normal but i don't want like i don't want or need some like red carpet sure. like all of the like bells and whistles because that's just right. a little excessive can I do some rapid fire of things like questions yeah. about bachelorette? Sure. Um, matching outfits or no? <sighs> Maybe like PJs. Or like, like a, okay, PJs. Would you set like themes for a day? Are you going to do a theme? I would maybe do like one theme for like the main event if it was like a weekend thing, but I wouldn't do like every single day and every like meal has a different, like I wouldn't do all that. I don't think. Okay. You're not sending um, a presentation with what to wear. Got it. No, but I do want a Drake theme. So like keep notes, keep notes on that. Okay. I do think you told me that at one point, but I'll relog that. At least I I think I do. I kind of forgot recently what kind of ring you want. So (laughs) <laughs> not that we're close but you should re-remind me that too like i'll send you an yeah. updated version <laughs> yeah um do you have a destination in mind or like a couple that you'd be like maybe that i haven't even thought about it maybe new york if like okay if like J-list. if things worked out and like let's say i met my husband in new york or something that'd be like kind of fun to do like or like the hamptons you'd stay that'd be cool. that's expensive <gasps> the hamptons would be fun <laughs> but i mean there's a point where any type of trip, anything outside of the, it's going to cost something. It's just like, you're right. How much, you know? No, I haven't even thought about it at all. I, I think, I don't know. A city would be cool, but I think it also depends. Like if I'm living in a city at the time, then I might want to go somewhere sure. different for a vibe switch. Or if I'm living in a slower, like right. small town, then a city would be fun for a change. So I don't know. Right. I don't, I wouldn't would do Nashville invite? though. Thank you. I wouldn't either sorry just had to put that but, out there i just feel like i've been there done that on that exactly one. and like no shade to I, nash but like not for the bachelorette I'm well good. and also how many times you've seen people in nash like every night you're out in nash you see someone do something they shouldn't on a bachelor or bachelorette party. exactly that's why it's a no from me like you go to nashville to get in trouble like you don't for go sure for you're not there good for time no no country music is about having getting into some business For which is sure. why i like it but and there's not more the titles marriage that. yeah <laughs> um are you someone that would invite more people to like her bachelorette party that aren't in your wedding party just to like add more girls or people maybe that's like i really care about you would love to party with you but don't need you next to me on my big day because i think that's coming popular too to be honest i think that i won't have that many extra friends to like <sighs> Invi- i'm not saying i won't have friends but like we've said this we would rather keep our circle small and like sure legit than have a bunch of random friends so i think honestly like if you're not in my wedding then i don't think we're good enough friends for you to be coming to my bachelor right unless it's like maybe like a family member situation of like Got cousins it. or something of my husband who like aren't in my wedding but like i like them enough Got to like it. come along th- for the ride maybe something yeah, like I that feel like that goes to, like what you're doing too yeah 
that's one where I don't have a sister, but like if Colton got married and had I had like a sister in law mm-hmm. before I had I don't it just really depends on what we're doing if you're making the cut. It's hard, I know. You can't it's hard to think and about like those his girlfriend kinds of things. now I think would be a homie about it, but it's just like, do I want you to see me like this? I'm not worried you'll judge me. Yeah. Do I need to put myself out there in that way? True, so true. Um but yeah. I think just my take on it. Um Previously, I was not a girl's girl. In this lifetime, I was very much a girl's guy. A guy's girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guy's girl. I said the first one backwards. Guy's girl. Um, but it really has been in the last... Since I graduated um, college, like that last mm-hmm. kind of senior year forward, I was just like, you know, I feel like girls shit on each other. We fight. And a lot of times we blame other women for stuff that in reality, like men do, or we should hold men accountable for. For sure. So I since moving to Denver for the first time in my life, have more girlfriends than guy friends. And I'm just obsessed. I love it. I'm a hundred percent a girl's girl. Mm-hmm. And it's I think way better. It, you can see the world shifting too, to become, we're all becoming girls, girls, because we're like, we're catching on to this shit. We're getting smarter. Mm-hmm. They're getting, we realize and they ain't getting better. And so there's gonna be a True. lot of lonely men for a lot of time. And you, just, you know, like, and yeah. so anyway, moral of the story, I used to dread, I used to say no bachelorette party for me a bunch of women in one room like my worst nightmare Mm -hmm. just because drama and there are like lots of negative connotations that come with the girl side of the bachelor party of like or bachelor party of what to wear who fights people Mm -hmm. commenting about your marriage you commenting Mm -hmm. on other people's relationships like Mm -hmm. no it should be good vibes only and i've honestly never been to one so i can't really speak on it but I know I have a good enough group of girls now that one would take care of me and like Mm -hmm. not necessarily like pay for things. I don't expect that at all, but like make sure I'm having a good time and doing things I want to do for sure. Um, As well as we just have like, I have a group of friends that would get along with each other too. And I don't think that's been the case in the past. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think, and that's good too. Like it's rather that way than the other way around. Amazing. Okay. My next question is, what is something like, whether it's like, like on, okay, we're sh- going back to dating. So dating apps, obviously when you're scrolling, people have prompts or people have like little bios or people have just like snippets of information about themselves so you can get to know them, obviously. Um, what is something that like, if you see in someone's dating profile, you're immediately like, no, thank you. I'm moving on. This is so stupid, but like men that are like, I'm looking for like a loyal, like emotionally intelligent woman (laughs) and someone that like someone that works hard, knows what they want. Like just Mm -hmm. common sense. Like to me, it's like the one it screams, I got hurt. Please Mm -hmm. help me. Which like, not that I don't care about your past, but like figure your shit out, heal, move on. I'm not here to heal you. I need you to be right. You need to be done with that before I get into a situation with you Two, Like, I don't think that's something I have to say I'm looking for. That is the bare minimum. Isn't that a given? Yeah. Like, yeah, I get it. You're not wrong, but like that one doesn't tell me anything about you. Besides the fact that you might have some morals Mm -hmm. Two more times than not guys putting that, don't want a relationship or like are the so cheaters true. so or true the shitty men so it's just like your words Why mean nothing we? because your mm-hmm. types fucked it up um yeah. and just like do better yeah do, like yeah so that one's kind of one um for me living in colorado everyone's personality is either all hiking or all skiing slash snowboarding. Mm -hmm. And I need you to do something else besides that. We can do that. You can enjoy it. That can be like a hobby, but you love it. Like, but when I first get another personality trait, I went on, everyone was like, I'm just trying to board at least like 50 times this season. And I'm like, shut the fuck (laughs) up. Like I'm happy you board and I want you to board, but they're like, yeah, I'm going to blow up work. I'm like, you're fucking stupid. Like, yeah, come on. We can do better than that. Up and down. (laughs) yeah yeah and like it's so cool i would love to go like every weekend every other weekend but like Mm -hmm. 50 times is like an abnormal amount and i was just like you gotta get more like yeah i mean there's nearly there's nearly 50 weeks in a year that's like insane to do 50 times in a season no thank you 
right and it's just a personality and that doesn't tell me about you it tells me about your hobbies which is great right but Uh, i need more i'm not going this season because i one it's just expensive and since Mm -hmm. i broke my wrist last year it made it more expensive Mm -hmm. and i would much rather pay off my college debt than do that Mm -hmm. and i can still go up hang out in the towns go party like apre do all the stuff Mm -hmm. and maybe i'll do it the following but like none of my friends here do it either like the only one that did left yeah exactly so like i could go bum with people but like i don't care sure but do you really you'd rather spend your time when you think about it it's not even half the year no like peak season is end of november through maybe march and then things start to close yeah i'm okay Mm -hmm, mm-hmm mm-hmm so i don't know if that answered the question but i think that's no yeah it did those are good that's what i was looking for um my last question i feel like you asked me this kind of recently and i don't even Uh remember what i said but like what's the update on the wedding vibes what you feeling at this moment (laughs) oh yeah we talked about this i think and i can't remember what really was said either you mean just like oh i think i asked you like what your dream wedding is or something but i don't remember what you said i just just mean like that i don't have one yeah at this point i just talked about like pillars that i know i will want i don't have specifics picked out and i don't think about it often here's my wedding vibes if you're gonna piss me off don't come (laughs) like i just i've been watching a bunch of tiktoks lately for some reason about like oh your girls weddings and like things that they liked didn't like blah 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 and and there's been a couple people who i know who have like been to weddings lately and have just been like telling me about Mm -hmm. them and sometimes the audacity that you people have at other people's weddings in the sense of like starting drama making out-of-pocket comments it's just like that's not why you're there (laughs) You aren't totally. there to make it about you. You aren't there to start drama. You aren't there to pick a fight. Like you're there to celebrate these two people. And if that's not what you're gonna do, then there's the door. Like there's the door. I know that sounds bitchy and like it sounds no, like I'm gonna be a bridezilla, day. but at the same time, like I don't want people coming to me with problems. I don't want people questioning like decisions I made. I don't want people coming at me for X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Like, let's just keep that That's to a fair. minimum and we'll all be happy. Um, That's fair. And I feel like plus the older I get, the more I'm just like, I don't mess with bullshit. So, like, don't come at me on some bullshit on my wedding because then I really. I just can't believe people do that. Like, I've only attended very, very few weddings. But that never crosses my mind. That never serves the no. top. Honestly, if I even thought I couldn't handle myself, I wouldn't go exactly exactly so like that's not my time and place and no, realistically no. the weddings i could envision myself getting invited to one day i'm not even going to be super close with the my friend's spouse right like there's very right. few of my friends guys or girls that i'm close with their significant others now there's some but like maybe i would get invited to the wedding don't think i'd be in the wedding party at least yeah as the friendship stand now maybe one i don't know but like right like, right hmm? i'm not yeah, going I don't know. what is there even to stir i i don't know i don't i have no idea i i don't i ain't got a clue but if you have something nice not nice to say don't say it at all especially on the wedding day like that's not the day to be talking about oh like i it, just leave there it are at home. A few leave weddings. it at home i'm like if i get invited to them in the future like anyone for, well there's very few people from high school at this point I would get invited to their wedding. But, you know, the very few mm-hmm. I would, I'm like, the reunion. the the Seeing certain people. Yeah. Certain places. There's, yeah, yeah. Um, you know which one I'm talking so, about. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, no, so that's, that's like, my general, like, I just, no BS, da-da-da-da-da. But as far as, like, the fun parts about it, I honestly have no idea. Like, I don't know what aesthetic I would want. I don't know what vibe I'd be going for. Part of me wants to do, like, something really classy and do, like, black tie and, like, just be, like, minimal and fancy. Yeah. But the other part of me wants to do, like, I don't I don't even know. I have no idea. I know. It just, I but think I, it all depends on the time and the place. But I what definitely kind of dress want, do you think you'll do? I think I'm going to honestly do something so simple. Like maybe 
You not, told me the other day you wanted a black dress. I did. Yeah, I did. How do you and feel I still about stand that one. Um, I think that was just an intrusive thought, but like oh, I would consider it still if I was getting married like tomorrow. But I'm so picky when it comes to like dresses and like that kind of thing that I think mine will be so simple and low key plain. Like I think I'll just probably have like what's that material? It's not silk, but it's very like smooth looking and it like lays like like it looks like like a a cow neck top white maybe maybe not but just like i don't know like a satiny or like a some kind of like simple fabric with like i don't know maybe like a fun little back situation and like okay a little i don't know or like a no back maybe not i don't know if i like no back on me but i don't want sleeves i don't think (laughs) and i think it's just gonna be simple like i don't no bedazzle and if, if there is bedazzle minimal bedazzles. and definitely no like no crazy lace situation maybe like oh, a little like no uh, uh. For you. Okay. but i don't think i want like a full-on like lace just up and everywhere you know okay i think mine will be Mermaid, honestly plain yeah. or just like mm. you said strapless i think you no, didn't i said just not oh. like long sleeves Oh, okay. I don't think. What kind of, Honestly, what kind of ring do you want now that we're talking about this? Oh, um, I used an to oval. want like a cushion cut, but now I want an oval. Yes. Okay, I could have been in. I could have been in that, guys. But still, like platinum or like whatever. Yeah. Obviously not gold. You know that. Got it. You don't um, know about the band yet, do you? No. Part of me wants a hidden halo, but I don't know if I really do or not. If it's hidden, I don't give a shit. I know, but it looks pretty from the side. Maybe. I haven't done that much research. I don't know. Definitely oval, though. And, like, a thin band, I think. Or maybe not thin, but just, like, plain. Like, I don't think I want, like, a bedazzle band. Like, I don't want diamonds on the band, I don't think. Oh, okay. I don't know. So. What would you want me to do if your husband bought you a ring you didn't like? I would want you to tell him to return that shit and get what I do like yeah i don't know i would hope that whoever i'm marrying would ask my mom or you before purchasing like i hope he wouldn't purchase it and then be like kenna what do you think i just spent thousands of dollars on this right would you ever do be one to go ring shopping with him in the future or not your thing i don't know part of me like i've always wanted it to be such a big surprise and and, like i don't Uh want to see the proposal coming and i want it to be magical Uh and i want it to be like oh my god i had no idea but i am so picky about jewelry and i also think that the older i get the more i realize how like less realistic that is just because like when you're in a long-term relationship you kind of know where you stand and it's like for sure sure it might be a surprise about like which month it's gonna happen but you kind of know when you're heading towards marriage so yeah i don't think i'd be opposed to it but i think i would rather like you slash my mom just like help and do it so i don't know yeah Oh my gosh, this makes me remember something I don't know if I ever told you about. What? This is not pod material. Oh, okay. Is it about... Okay, never mind. You can tell me after. Yeah. Um, it's not as... I made it seem really dramatic. It's not that deep. And honestly, I might have told you. I just can't remember. Oh, okay. Um, graduation? Ringing the bell? Whose graduation? Yours. I can't. I don't know because the first thing I thought of is definitely not what you're thinking about. So, oh, what were you thinking about? No, I was just thinking about how. uh, Never mind. Um, (laughs) You still want a gold band with a circle, right? I think so. I recently was like, "What about an emerald?" And I was like, "No, kind of round Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm classic." If it was any other shape besides a round, it would be an emerald. But right, round, plain band. But the the carrot size is going up. She's like, I need five minimum. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. No, I'm kind of at a place where I'm a three. 
Would you ever I, do a not diamond? Like, would you ever do like a moissanite or something? Or you have to diamond? No other real, option. Not lab grown, not moissanite, diamond. Natural. Diamond. Natural. Better get you a man's with some coin. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I think I'm no. actually notoriously not a girl that goes for guys with money. Um, That's funny. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't know. Did you have another question for me or no? No. That's it? I had one more, but I don't like it. So I'm dec- I'm <laughs> cutting it. Tell me what it was. Oh, it's not very good. I mean, I'll tell you after, but it's not a good. Well, for one, it's not a good question. And for two, I don't think you'll have a good answer. No offense. I'll tell you after. It'll make sense. It'll make sense. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes this episode. This was kind of fire. (laughs) I think it was. Us every episode. I know. We say that every time. This was so good. Um, Comment down below that I'm the new Alex Cooper and we're the new Caller Daddy. We just start going on dates for shits and gigs to have stories. Honestly, um, you wouldn't. You know you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't, but you would. You can for us <laughs> both. Thank you. No. Do, do your fellow. I think... No. No. I would, but I, I won't just want to go on a dating app. Podcast. I don't. Most of the dates I've been on aren't from a dating app. Okay. I'm not. Say, like, I'm not disagreeing, but I wouldn't yeah. say most. I'd say it's about fifty-fifty, right? That's that's most in this generation. <laughs> that's even. That's equal. No, nope. skews a little different. Okay, I'd say sixty-forty. Right. Okay, okay, but anyway, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, like and subscribe because this is good. Like and subscribe because this is good. Strong this strong. reminds me of being the motherfucking real ones because mm-hmm. this just was a real one kind of episode, you know? Really was, really was. <laughs> you get it, you get it. But be sure to rate and review, like and subscribe. Um, I know we post this on YouTube, Apple Music, Anchor. Anchor's not even real anymore, just Spotify. Spotify for podcasters. Um, <laughs> so yeah, hype us up, guys. We're coming back. It's next episode after this might even be our New Year's episode. We got to do a resolution. So that one always pops off. Mm, um, you know how I feel about that. <laughs> I know. I'm not even as pumped up as I usually am, but I just feel like it performs well. Yeah, I guess so. You're right. I need to get in the mindset. Anyway, mm-hmm. love you all. She's at H. Renzuli. I'm at Kenna Casa, and we will see you in another episode. Bye. Bye.